We are going to have to switch gears now and get more on Nick Cordero. The 41-year-old actor lost his battle with the coronavirus Sunday after three months in the hospital. His wife, Amanda Klutz, shared an emotional message overnight, and Deb Roberts has the story. Good morning, Deb. Good morning, George. Yes, this is certainly not the outcome that Amanda Klutz had envisioned when she so courageously took us all on this heartbreaking journey, fighting for her husband's recovery, trying to harness the global power of positivity and prayer. But in the end, the coronavirus was just too difficult of an enemy to defeat. He was a talented actor who stole the spotlight on stage. If I go to church on Sunday, burn down my school on Monday. And in front of the camera. Well, if it isn't my favorite defective. Nick Cordero losing his battle against coronavirus complications three months after he was diagnosed. His wife, Amanda Klutz, on Instagram. God has another angel in heaven now. I am in disbelief and hurting everywhere. My heart is broken as I cannot imagine our lives without him. In March, just days after sharing this image of his wife and son on Instagram, Cordero fell ill. In May, his wife telling Michael Strahan about those early symptoms. He didn't have a fever, he didn't have a cough, he had an appetite, he had a sense of smell, he had a sense of taste. Um, so we really didn't think that it was COVID. On April 1st, the 41-year-old actor was sedated in the ICU at Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles. His battle against the illness was uphill. Unexpected health complications arose, including strokes, sepsis, damaged lungs, and blood clots that resulted in a leg amputation. Through it all, his wife, who couldn't be by her husband's side, remaining optimistic, dancing outside his window, going live on Instagram daily, singing Nick's song, Live Your Life, even joined by fans and well-wishers all across the country. Sharing the ups and downs of her husband's health journey alongside the couple's one-year-old, Elvis. Nick, Dada, is awake! Yay! <laughs> Klutz posting that she sang Nick's song to him Sunday while holding his hand. As I sang the last line, they'll give you hell, but don't you let them kill your light, not without a fight, live your life. I smiled, because he definitely put up a fight. I'll love you forever and always, my sweet man. The tributes are just pouring in this morning, tributes of admiration. Uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda, the Hamilton star, tweeting, devastating. What a loss, what a light, whole heart with Amanda and his family. Actress Viola Davis writing, rest in peace, Nick Cordero. My condolences to you and Amanda, saying how sorry she is for the little one. My heart is with you. And finally, Zach Braff, who was a former co-star and a best friend, tweeting out that, uh, that Nick had asked him. The last thing he ever tweeted or asked for was for him to look out for his wife and one-year-old son. I promise the world they will never want for anything. I feel incredibly grateful to have had Nick Cordero in my life. Just so much pain and heartbreak being felt everywhere, George. And I have to tell you, once again, a reminder that the, that the coronavirus is very serious and can be very devastating. A sad, sad reminder of that. Okay, Deb, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.